Welcome to Harper's Playhouse. Today we're doing a potsy, but we have a scorpion, but it's a glow in the dark one. But there's a little blood suckers. But there's a monster leech and a black leech. Oh my. Alright, as Harper said, that's right. We are doing a poxy. Let me see it. But that's a bark scorpion. Yeah. And um Do you see them? It's funny because you know they're they're they they're here in Texas, but not too frequent. But um, they are very native to Arizona, and we happen to have gotten a big box delivered yesterday. Um, and I decided to track down the where it actually originated from, and sure enough, that box was from Phoenix, Arizona. So our little friend is very native to the Phoenix area. I lived in Arizona, so that scorpion looked very familiar. So it's a bark scorpion. If you put a UV light, black light on it, he'll glow and things like that. So we're gonna epoxy him today. We got a little mountain system right here. We had some mm -hmm. epoxy. That's right. Yeah. But do you see a little lady? I saw him running there. So we're mixing the epoxy right now, and it's almost ready. It's a uh, one part epoxy, uh, one to one. So quick and easy. And we'll put it in a little mountain area, and then we're gonna keep them forever. But yep, little guy. Caught a ride from Phoenix, Arizona and Look. landed in our house. Our dog That's found it. it. We got a couple of other bugs we're gonna put in there. A stink bug. We have a dead brain mantis. He's all dried up. And uh, an Egyptian beetle. Stink yeah. bug. Okay, and if you're familiar messing with epoxy, uh, you'll get little bubbles in there. So it's always good to have a little heat gun. So that's all you do. Just turn it on like this. Well, trying to film it all that at the same time. Kind of hard and it'll pop everything all the bubbles comes right on it all right so there shouldn't be any bubbles in there there we go all right homeboy's putting up a fight here that's for sure we want him upside down though Look like he's on the mountain because this is like a mountain range. I think that might have been his last breath. Okay, so that's perfect if he stays there, but if he moves, that's not gonna be great. <laughs> so I think we got a lot of glare. There we go. I'm dropped in. Oh, here, thunderstorm. Y'all want to know what's crazy? Just a minute ago, he started smoking the scorpion. Literally started smoking like a chemical reaction. And uh, all of a sudden, all around his immediate proximity, it's hard. This takes 24 hours to harden. It's completely hard. So it was like a chemical reaction with the poison that he has inside him, I'm assuming, and created, like, look, watch. It's hard. But everywhere else is completely soggy. See, it's dripping. Mm -hmm. But whatever it was, the the venom or poison that was inside reacted with the epoxy and it just mm -hmm. hardened up on the whole area. And yeah. it was smoking. That was ins yeah. well, that was crazy, wasn't it? Yeah, he it was, was. He was on fire. He was on fire. So now it kind of ruined probably the appearance of how he might show up in the epoxy. But all these other bugs were dead previously. <laughs> But wow, dude, he was smoking. That was insane. All right, with the chemical reaction uh, from the scorpion's venom or <laughs> poison, toxins, whatever, it hardened pretty quick. So I went ahead and did the second layer. So we'll be all done once tomorrow comes around. It should be ready to go. Pop it out of this mold and yeah. then we have our bugs, right? Yeah. That's then right. It's a real bug pot. So look at the yeah. And the beetle. Got all kinds of bugs. Okay, well, let's just let it sit and do its thing. We'll see it tomorrow. Alrighty, it's been 72 hours, and whatever chemical reaction the scorpion caused with his toxins or venom, uh, it failed. It discolored the, the epoxy. It got hard here, but the back end never cured. So that's why it's on foil. It just never cured. I don't know what kind of chemical reaction. It did, but <clears throat> it'll say, I guess it's somewhat of a fail. I guess maybe don't put a live scorpion in 
in there because the juices or the toxins are still yeah but we'll take a look check it out at least there's the the wasp that came out kind of cool it's supposed to be like a mountain range mold here it didn't come out as good as we thought but cool nonetheless let's see if you can see it let me there we go and there's her uh praying mantis that was dead and all her other little bugs <laughs> and there's a scorpion you really can't make it out because whatever chemical reaction it just really changed the molecular structure i guess so to speak of the resin compound but yeah, but it came out hard. This is hard, but underneath the whole bottom still gooey. That's a real bummer. Hopefully, it might harden. You know, then we could kind of look at it all together. But just wanted to share this with you guys, so you can see right there. It's like really soft in the middle. I could actually push it right here. Yeah. So I don't know. We'll see what happens. But wanted to show you that nonetheless. Um. The wasp, the wasp came out the best, I guess, if anything you could say. But somehow, all this just kind of went all weird. Alrighty, well, <laughs> live and learn. That's how we work with Epoxy. Thanks for watching. Harper's playing with her brother somewhere.